Now at noon, this is new video from Atlanta's International Airport where thousands of Delta Airlines pilots are protesting, heading into the busy Labor Day weekend. It's part of a nationwide protest by pilots from several major airlines today demanding better pay and more staffing. News 6's Mark Lehman is at Orlando International Airport where another protest is underway. Pilots standing in solidarity here today at Orlando International Airport, which is seeing an increase in demand for the Labor Day weekend. It's that boost in demand coupled with a decrease in staffing that's led to ongoing concerns. It's a call for airline industry changes coming from those who are responsible for hundreds of travelers every day. And we want to make sure that we are recognized and acknowledged for all the sacrifices that we made throughout the pandemic. The pilots who work for several major airlines are bringing attention to contract talks, some that have been on hold for years because of the pandemic. They say they're being overworked and worry about growing fatigue. The staffing shortage was created by the, by the airlines. If they want to hire the right people and the best and the brightest, all they have to do is give us great contracts. The demonstration in Orlando joining a dozen others at airports across the country. It comes after a nightmare for many travelers over the summer as staffing shortages played a role in thousands of flight delays and cancellations. When a flight gets canceled for a passenger and they don't make it home, we don't make it to our families as well. This also comes as the government is launching a new website that more easily allows passengers to view their rights as consumers. Some airlines have tweaked protocol as a result, and those here are hoping change will come their way as well. We understand all the frustration and cancellation that were caused as the airlines recover from the pandemic. Union leaders say all of the pilots demonstrating here today are doing so on their day off, so flights aren't impacted. And that's a good thing as Orlando International Airport says it's seen a 20% increase in travel compared to last year. For now, reporting at OIA, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6.